Company D is a SIP-based hub provider, which offers voice transit and signaling services to fixed line and mobile operators. The company has soft switches, which serve as POPs, throughout Southeast Asia. Company D deployed soft switch technology to take advantage of lower IP transport costs. The soft switches are currently deployed in a fully meshed framework, where every switch must be defined in the translation table of every other switch. Company D wants to expand their network to serve other Asian markets. They also want to enhance their portfolio by offering transit services for text messaging and multimedia applications. The company would also like to offer SIP peering as an alternative to TDM to other voice over IP providers. The new business plan presents a number of challenges for Company D's meshed soft switch network. Scalability. New soft switches have to be added to the network to increase capacity. Provisioning complexity. Each new piece of equipment must be provisioned with the routing entries for all the existing soft switches. Also, the existing soft switches must be updated with the routing entries for the new equipment. Routing complexity. Since routing is based on predefined SIP trunks, route management becomes more complex as the voice over IP network expands. Introducing new applications. Services and subscriber data are tightly coupled with the soft switch, making it difficult to change an existing service or add new applications uniformly. Like many operators, Company D views these as unrelated challenges. They deploy multiple point solutions, which cost more capex and opex in the long run. It's better to take a holistic view and address all the challenges at once. The solution? Create a SIP-based next-generation network reference architecture over the existing network using Tecolec's SIP signaling router as a SIP proxy. As a result, Company D now has a centralized SIP signaling and session control framework that acts as the route manager for all of the soft switches, relieving them of routing tasks. Eliminates the mesh network, so there's no need to provision translation tables on each and every switch. Maintains end-to-end -end media transparency, so the endpoints can communicate using any media, voice, text, video, or data and preserves media quality since there is no decoding or encoding required within the network. The SSR also provides additional benefits, such as a centralized SIP monitoring point and a framework for uniform deployment of new services.